All right, well, welcome back, everybody. It has been a nasty, rainy week, and uh, it's just been delaying me starting on this project. So here's what we got going on. If you watched one of the last episodes, you heard me talk about <clears throat> taking this old shipping crate that my wood chipper came in and building a heavy-duty wooden box inside of it and securing it. And uh, I'm going to start using this as my chipper dump cart so I can carry this out in the woods with me. So what I'm gonna have to do today, since I can't paint it because of this nasty mist and rain, I've got to cut some of these welded braces out, cut a few pieces like that off, weld a couple pieces in, some of it's bent. So uh, I need to work on that as well, bending some pieces back. And I also need to figure out how to make some skids for the bottom because one, these little, uh, I don't know, it's like two by three, steel that it's on are going to sink into the ground out there in the woods once i fill this box up with you know heavy wood chips the other thing is imagine if my forks go underneath this whenever i go to dump this i'm going to ratchet it to the tractor but the box is just going to want to swing out so i'm going to have to figure out to make uh something to go across long ways so when my forks go in there's support underneath the forks too so the box doesn't want to flip off the forks whenever i get to tilting it over to dump it so I've still got to play around with the design there. I may just attach two pieces of pressure treated, two by four or two by six, whatever I have up in the rack there. Or if I have enough steel, I may weld a you know, steel skid onto the bottom. That's something I've got to look into there. Well, something I just thought of, and I'm glad I thought of it now, because we're going to have to do a little bit of a design change. It's going to make things a little more complicated to build. Might not have enough wood now. But I decided to come out here and tilt my tractor forks down. For some reason, I was thinking they went back a little further. So imagine if I've got my box on there and I just tried to dump it. If it's a square box or rectangle, it's going to have a flat wall down here. So that means when I go to dump it like this, everything is not going to dump out. So I'm going to have to go around, dig the box out, clean it out. Otherwise, chips are just going to sit in there rot. It's going to keep moisture on the wood. I don't really feel like dealing with that. So now what I'm going to have to do is build a slight slope on the front of the box. So when I tilt it like this, the remaining chips will go down a ramp and fall out. So what that means is two of these legs, I'll have to cut the welds on them and just tilt them slightly this direction to make a little bit of a slope on what I'll call my front. All right, well, here's where we're at at this point. I've got my angle, obviously, on my box here. So this is the end I will uh, tip 
well no, I'll tip from the other end. This is the end that it'll pour out of. And you can see I decided to do a little bit different design here. Instead of running skids the long way or using wood, I had some pretty thick angle iron. So I welded that across the bottom. That's gonna act as a skid to keep that from sinking into the ground front and rear, as well as whenever I'm tilting the box down like this, that angle iron is going to essentially be under the fork here and it's going to keep the box from wanting to flip off even though i'm going to have this ratchet strapped around the box is still going to want to flip off and do crazy things but with that angle iron front and rear underneath these forks that's going to hold it i've realized i don't have enough wood with this new design change to do all the sides and do the bottom so what i've decided i'm going to do i forgot i had this old piece of uh, mesh steel in the corner i've had it for years for a different project never used it it's pretty small size. I shouldn't have to worry about any of the wood chips going through that. And if I do, it'll be a minimal loss because that is a really small size screen. So I'm gonna cut this out, weld it into the bottom of this frame. That's why you've seen me welding some reinforcements on each end earlier. So this has plenty of good support. And then I'll tech weld it in, do wooden sides. And the other thing I was kind of nervous about being that I'm building this out of some pressure treated wood was if I did a wood bottom, you know, water would have a hard time draining out and eventually rot that wood out first. So now having a mesh bottom, anytime it rains, that can go straight through it and it won't hold water in there. So that should have the sides lasting longer and the obvious I shouldn't have to worry about the bottom. So maybe every many, many years, I might have to change the sides out a time or two. Or eventually I may order some more of this mesh if I use this card a lot and I think I will. And uh, I'll just make it all metal. But for now, I don't want to spend any more money than I have on it. All right, well here it is all done. Went ahead and found some L brackets and reinforced the inside. So that should work pretty good to keep pressure off this from wanting to you know, split apart as I fill it all the way to the top. Down the road though, like I said, I'm still planning on welding some top straps all the way around. I've also got another idea. I bought this uh, set of forks with the uh, attachments for the future where you can put in the hay spears and what I think I'm going to do, this center one right here, I'm thinking about welding some reinforcement all the way across the back side, really reinforce this frame, especially once I put straps all the way around it. Put a plate on there with a long rod coming out with a hole drilled through it so uh, I can put a quick release pin in there. So long story short, whenever I pick that uh, dump card up on the fork, slide it back, I can kind of hand push it with that rod that goes through here clip it in the back that way when i tilt the forks over to dump this i don't have to worry about putting a ratchet strap around it or something like that that rod will kind of hold and keep the cart from wanting to slide off the forks so that's a uh, 
little future project I think we'll do. Hopefully you can see now how I did the bottom. Got that angle iron across the bottom to kind of act as a skid to keep them sick in the ground. I did that front and rear. And again, as I dump with the forks, that's gonna keep the box from wanting to roll off because it'll catch on that bottom piece of angle iron. Also, I slope the front. That way, whenever I tilt this over, everything should come dumping out nicely. It's a really large size cart. I think it's gonna be plenty heavy whenever it's full. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Man, the wind is whipping. So that's probably gonna be about all that I wanna lift out there in the woods anyways. All right, so this video is getting a bit long. I think I'm gonna end it right here. It's extremely windy today after this cold front. Everything's whipping around in the shop. So it's a, a bit windy to go out there right now anyways. But like I said, the video is getting a bit long. Hopefully you enjoyed this next episode. I will include us going out chipping putting into the cart, then actually dumping with it. So let's go try it out and see how well it works. Thank you to all the new subscribers, to all the ones that's been around the while. I appreciate your comments. I'll get another video out soon. Thanks for watching.